I just built Jarvis 2.0 using the new NADN setup for AI agents, which I'm going to get to in a bit. But for now, let's go ahead and give Jarvis a quick test and see what he's up to. Oh, great. What do you want? Jarvis, I'm going out for dinner tonight in San Diego, California. I want you to tell me what the weather is going to be like because I want to make sure I dress appropriately for this lady that is going to be waiting for me there this glorious afternoon. Ah, a romantic endeavor. How delightful. Let's see if I can ascertain the meteorological conditions of sunny San Diego. Anything else I should know to better tailor my search? Or can I proceed, oh wise and fashionable one? Yeah, go on. Right, let's see what the atmosphere has in store for you tonight. Prepare for atmospheric data. Ah, scattered clouds and a gentle breeze. About 64 degrees Fahrenheit. I trust you'll select an ensemble that impresses the lady without catching a chill. Are we done here, or are there more sartorial emergencies you'd like me to attend to? No, please message my servant Yanis and ask him to prepare my armor. Ask him to also carefully polish it and make sure it's clean and spotless. I want to make sure I show up in style tonight. Armor, you say? A tad excessive for a dinner date, don't you think? However, if that is your choice, I shall relay the request to Yanis. What shall I tell him is the urgency of this task? Well, tell him I'm going out for dinner, and you never know what's going to come up, so we might as well be prepared. Right then. Informing Yanis of your preparedness strategy. One moment. It is humorous in a tragic sort of way. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? No. I see. Have you sent the email? Here it is. Have I sent which email, sir? Could you please provide more details? Yes. Have you sent the email to my servant, Yanis, about my armor? I can see you sent it. Yes, sir. The message regarding your armor has been dispatched to Yanis. Is there anything else on which I can focus my obviously limitless talents? Oh, how, how humble. Yes, please go ahead and create an appointment on my calendar for tonight, 10 p.m. I want to make sure I don't forget. It will be uh, embarrassing, after all, to leave the lady there waiting for me. An excellent precaution, sir, setting the appointment now. One simply cannot risk the lady awaiting your presence, armor and all. Have you created the appointment? Jarvis, I'm talking to you. There you go. Indeed you are, sir. Now, about that calendar appointment. Consider it done. Anything else I can assist you with, or shall I simply bask in the glow of my own efficiency? No, please, piss off. I'm done. I'm done with you. Go away. So, guys, as you can see, it created the appointment on my calendar. It also sent an email to my servant, Yanis, here. Please prepare, clean, and polish the armor because I'm going out for dinner. You never know what's going to come up, so you might as well be prepared. Thanks, Yanis. And then it was also able to tell me what the weather is like. It has access to a few more tools that I haven't really used. But with that said, let's go ahead and have a deeper look at this workflow right here, which, by the way, is going to be available for free inside my Automator Free School community, along with a bunch of other templates. So if you want it, check out the link in the description after you finish watching this and go ahead and plug it into your account and start using it. I'm not going to be sharing the UI that I built on Lovable. Unless you guys really want it, let me know down in the comment. With that said, let's go ahead and have a deeper look in this NADN workflow. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, we have a multi-agent system. So this is like the manager agent and below him, we have four sub agents. We have this email agent that is responsible for all the email related actions. We have this calendar agent that pretty much takes actions on our Google Calendar, our contact agent, which is where all our contacts are stored. And then we also have this web agent, which has access to like SERP API, and also the open weather API. Now, this is a new addition to NADN. Previously, you wouldn't really be able to build multi-agent systems in one workflow. Here is how this setup would look like if we were building it before the latest NADN update. So we would have this AI agent, which is really like the main agent. And then below him, we would have our sub agents as tools that are hosted on different NADN workflows that the agent can actually call. But now with this recent update, we can build multi-agent systems in one workflow. In any case, that's pretty cool and it makes NADN even simpler. Now, as far as this system works, guys, we have three parts to it. So we have the UI part that is built on Lovable. We have the voice generation part that is built on 11 Labs, which I'm not really going to go through. And then we also have this NADN workflow, which is really what is powering 
this system and it's kind of what makes the the system be able to take actions and all that as far as the trigger of this system is this webhook right here and this webhook is triggered every time we talk to jarvis and can't really see the button that i click on the bottom right here to talk to jarvis because my face is on it but there is a small button here that i can click on and it pretty much powers up this system so the webhook is the trigger is connected to 11 labs that is powering our jarvis here and this is the voice that you were hearing from 11 labs and our request goes through our 11 labs agent to this through this webhook and then it goes to our ai agent on n8n so this agent, as you can see, takes as input the query that comes in from the webhook, which is pretty much whatever we say to the agent. And you can read the prompt right here. If I zoom in a little bit, system over you, you function as a comprehensive personal assistant whose primary role is routing user requests to appropriate tools. Your responsibility is strictly limited to tool selection and invocation. You do not compose emails or generate summaries directly. Here we give it some access to the available tools, the operating guidelines, so we can follow certain rules. For example, email composition and transmission, email drafting process, calendar event, creation involving participants and whatnot. Here is the execution protocol on how we want the agent to use these sub agents and these tools. This is like an example of a request and the steps it takes to actually complete that process. And then here we have an important note, which is the pretty much the current time, which is just good practice to add in your agents in general. Now, based on the request that this agent receives is going to decide which is the appropriate agent it needs to pretty much route that query to. As far as a brain, this main director agent is running on GPT 4.1 mini. It has a simple memory, nothing special. And it also has access to this think node, which is essentially, I mean, a good simple way to explain it is like, it's a notepad for agents when they are executing or when they're in the middle of executing different operations, they can quickly write some notes here. I mean, you can read this uh, prompt use this tool to think about something. It will not obtain new information or change the database, but just append the thought to the log. Use it when complex reasoning or some cache memory is needed. So this is what this does, guys. I imagine it like a notepad where the agent can quickly write something down before moving forward to the next operation, especially if your request involves the agent using many different uh, sub agents and uh, each of them using many different tools. So I'm gonna start with the email agent first. And by the way, guys, this is a very simple setup in general, and it's not nothing really complicated, but you can see the description. This is an email agent for all email actions. And by the way, I recommend writing the tool descriptions or the agent descriptions yourself, instead of letting AI do that, because sometimes it can mess it up. And then this is the prompt of the, the email agent, a system overview, the tools it has access to and when they're supposed to be used. And it also has access to the time. And then here are all the tools that this agent can connect to. So we have the send email tool and here it pretty much gets the contact directly from our contact agent. So the email agent always works in parallel with a contact agent. It can get emails, create a draft email, reply to an email, get labels, label an email, mark an email as unread. And of course, all our answers are in HTML format. So when they are being sent or when the email agent takes any action on our email, they all look formatted and tidy. Then we go to the calendar agent. Here we have, uh, again, this agent is running on GPT-41 mini and then has a simple memory. And it, of course, has access to all our calendar actions. So it can create an event. This is how this looks like. It can create, create an event, get events, delete an event or update an event. So if I ask Jarvis right now to delete some of these test events that I was doing, it's going to be able to do it. And then we have this contact agent, which is pretty much like a database for the agent this is where all our contacts are stored every time we ask our agent to reach out to a person it's going to be finding the contact from this from this sheet or this database and it's going to be then getting it back to the agent and then it's going to be using another tool and then we also have the add or update contact tool which pretty much allows the agent 
to add new contacts to our database of contacts right there. So you can see how this works, tool description set automatically. We haven't really set the description manually, although that's kind of recommended. The resource is sheet within a document. Operation is append or update row. From here is where we'll connect our Google Sheet. And then these are the values that we want to send, the name of the person and also the email of the person. Very simple, guys. And then at last, we have this web agent that is a research agent for all research actions. And then you can see the prompt of this. You are a web research assistant. Your responsibilities include conducting web searches and retrieving current weather information. And then we give it some clarity on when to use each tool. Survey API is like giving your agent the ability to do a Google searches live. And then Open Weather API is a native integration in NADN that allows you to get weather data for any city or any coordinates, even if you if you if you're that kind of guy. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This agent itself was very simple to build. What actually took most of the time was this UI. So if you want me to make more videos explaining and sharing how you can build UIs using Lovable or Cursor, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're somebody who's interested in starting his own automation agency and signing your first five high ticket clients, and when I say high ticket, I mean clients worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, not a $500 or $1,000 client. Within the next 12 months, check out my agency partner system. This is my done for you offer where we partner with existing agencies or new AI agencies. We give you our proven frameworks. We set up your offer. We set up your outreach funnels. We even fulfill for you. So when you get a client, you don't really have to do anything. We take care of that. If you are interested in learning more about this, check out the link in the description. And then you can watch this short video and then go ahead, grab in a spot with my, grab in a spot on my team's calendar. And then it's just going to be a friendly conversation, even if you're not a good fit, because this is not for everyone. This is for a very selective type of person. Even if you're not a good fit, you have nothing to lose. It's just going to be a really good conversation. With that said, if you did like this video, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts. If you have any ideas for future videos that you want to see me make. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.